Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Learn for Excellence. Hi friends, now we are going to learn a problem on permutation and combination. Just have a look at this question. How many words can be formed by rearranging the letters of the word problems such that P and S occupy the first and last positions respectively? Okay, after seeing this question, we came to know that P and S occupy the first and last positions respectively which means here P and S occupy the first and last positions and in between R O B L E M we need to arrange these letters see here how many letters are there R O B L E M total 6 letters and we know that P and S is the last positions these are fixed okay we need to arrange these letters in different arrangement see here if you arrange one of the Six letters can be fixed in how many ways here? It should be six possible ways. Either R can place, O can place, or B, L, E, and M. Any one of these six letters can be placed in six ways. Here and here, okay. How many ways remaining? If suppose one of the letter is placed here, total remaining five letters are there. Here, how many ways? Five ways. Why I am taking five here? In the question, if they didn't mention anything about repetition is allowed or not, we need to take. Repetition is not allowed. Okay. Now here, how many ways? Already one is fixed here. Remaining five letters are there. We can arrange by five ways. Here four ways. And here how many ways? Three ways. And what about here? Two ways. And what about here? One way. Okay. Now this question six ways. Five, three, four, three, two, and one. And if we observe first and last positions, P and S, we can't interchange this P and S. Why? Because they clearly mention the P and S occupy the first and last positions respectively. Means P's position is first position and S position is last position. Okay, now we need to arrange. So P and S, the only one possible, there is only one possibility. This is first and last. And if I observe these in between P and S, we can arrange 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which is nothing but 6 factorial. 6 factorial into and P and S can occupy only one arrangement which is equals to 6 factorial into 1, 7, 20 ways. Okay. Or else in between P and S there are 6 positions. Directly in linear arrangement n items can be arranged in or n letters can be arranged in n factorial ways. In between P and S total 6 letters are there. 6 letters can be arranged in 6 factorial ways and we know that P and S positions are fixed. Okay, total then is 6 factorial ways which is nothing but 720 ways. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you have got this question. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.